This is Dingus, a deep reinforcement learning AI cube. And he can operate a forklift. Somewhat. Dingus's job is to finish up his shift at the Yuckos factory by getting the last Yuckos crates onto the shelf. Dingus attempts to learn by exploring his environment with a variety of different sensors and taking actions to try and get rewards. Dingus gets a reward when he lifts up the crate for the first time, a tiny reward for the crate moving closer to the shelf the first time, and a much bigger reward when the crate moves closer to the shelf while lifted for the first time, and when a crate is placed on the shelf. Dingus gets a negative reward when he falls off an edge, terrible health and safety compliance here, loses a Yucko's crate off an edge, or knocks a crate back off at the shelf. I've initially created a simple starting room for Dingus to experiment and try to learn how to forklift. I also have 28 identical Dinguses running at the same time to improve for training speed. His first exposure to his new environment is pretty much expected. Dingus rolls around clueless, raising and lowering the forks at the forklift, though it does look pretty funny at high speeds. The next few runs aren't really any different. A clueless Dingus will keep exploring randomly until he finally starts to figure out that he needs to interact with those crates. And this is the first run that Dingus discovers that falling off ledges might be a bad idea. Dingus, no. Don't do it, Dingus. A few runs later, we get something that just seems to come completely out of nowhere. Like seriously, I hadn't even seen any sort of recognition of the importance of the crates before. But in this run, Dingus slowly meanders over to a Yakko's crate and pushes it into the shelf. Dingus will have earned a small reward by moving it that way, but hopefully he figures out that lifting it and moving it gets him a lot more soon. Another interesting change is Dingus is not moving the forks up and down all the time anymore, which is a little concerning because he does need the forks, hopefully he still uses them. The very next run shows that Dingus has seemingly understood that the Yuckos crate is important. But man, it's been over a thousand seconds and I have not seen a single Yuckos crate be lifted up at this point. Ooh! Yes! He did it! Ah, dang, it fell off. But this is still good. He's now trying to raise the Yuckos. He never catches it again, but hey, it's progress. On the very next run, Dingus again makes his way over to a crate to attempt to raise it, and... Ooh! Success! He's now got it fully raised! And now he is very, very gently trying to move it... Uh... Away from the shelf, which isn't helping anyone, though. Oh, he lost it again. But still, I'm feeling a lot more confident now, but he'll start to figure things out. A few runs later, after a bit of a slow start, we have another crate lift. However, soon disaster strikes. I was fallen, and I can get up! Seems like we have to have one of these in every episode, Dingus. Anyways, I leave Dingus to train for a while. He does a whole bunch of absolutely baffling things, and then we wind up with this really exciting run. He did it! He did it! He stacked it! I mean, only one out of three, but now he's accomplished everything he actually needs to to successfully stack crates onto the shelf. He just needs to do this three times in a row, and within the time limit now, and he's completed the level. Moving forwards, we now possibly have the run. We've got two crates stacked, and he's already at the next crate with 30 seconds left. Oh, but Dingus just keeps fumbling the... The very next run after that heartbreak is very compelling as well. Oh, I think he's got it this time. Yeah! Way to go, Dingus. Now you're forklifting. Alright, so we're done, right? He can pick up crates and put them on the shelf. Job done, right? But I leave him training for a while while I work on something in the background. Here's how he gets after about another hour of training. Ain't hey, not bad. He's actually gotten pretty fast at it. So at this point, I'm feeling pretty happy, but also a little bit sadistic. I mean... Good job, Dingus, you learned it, but maybe we can make this a bit harder? So I decide to go completely off the rails and start making some harder levels for Dingus. Each one will get incrementally harder until... Wait, what? 
what the heck is this? <laughs> he can't, he can't do this. This is ridiculous. And so I stick Dingus into these new levels and see if he can ultimately figure it out. I initialize Dingus from his previously trained model into a new environment. This means he'll have all of the learnings he had from his previous training, but he can now progress into extra difficult levels as he completes them. So unsurprisingly, he completes the first level because he's completely used to the first level. And then first up on the new levels is a pretty simple one. It's literally just the narrow path. After an absolutely pathetic first attempt, Dingus quickly... Actually, what are you doing, Dingus? Dingus? Dingus, are you okay? Okay, he eventually figured himself out again. Now just go back and... Ah, oh, Dingus. Okay, but next time he picks it up and... Dingus, what are you doing? Stop spinning, man! Okay, I have no idea what the heck this technique is. After one more spin for good luck, Dingus seems to have figured it out. Okay, so next level up is a bit of a harder one. It's a much longer path to traverse, and there's also a second path that could result in him being uh, a little confused about what he should be doing there. Oh, and this time uh, he has some irregularly shaped crates to deal with. I'm gonna be honest, that wasn't on purpose, made a slight boo-boo, I'm just gonna roll with it, and so is Dingus. And now we enter a very unfortunate period of the forklift Dingus saga. Time and again, Dingus just keeps sticking the crate on top of the ramp, and it becomes completely inaccessible to him afterwards. And he just... keeps... doing it. Dingus. No. Frankly, Dingus is really struggling this time. In fact, I don't even... What is this? Okay, looks like we're making decent progress here. Just pick it back up and go on a straight... Wait, Dingus, no, that's not straight! That's not... This next attempt starts looking a lot like the previous attempt, until he straightens up his path. And now suddenly, he's on the other side. Ironically, once Dingus finally actually manages to get across the bridge, he completes the level on his first try. Okay, this one might look simple, but it turns out adding angles to inclines when you're trying to balance a little cube on the top of your forklift actually becomes really difficult. I feel like there was a bit of beginner's luck there. How about a more normal first attempt, Dingus? Oh yep, yeah. there we go. <laughs> but in spite of the fact that the level is difficult, it's pretty straightforward to see progress. So here are some of the highlights of his different attempts. Dingus then decided to take a break from making any good advancements for the next 2500 seconds, and then... He's made it to the end. Dingus has done it. He's... Wait, what are you doing? Dingus, why? Oh well, not to worry because not too long later we get another great run. Wait, Dingus, don't cut the corner like that. No, no! Okay, but what about this run? Yeah, there we go. I was reasonably hopeful that Dingus would eventually figure this level out. The next level, however, is complete bull. It has beyond everything the previous level had, plus a whole bunch of extra crap. And also falling boulders. He's never even trained on falling boulders. He doesn't know how to deal with that crap. What even is this warehouse? Why does it have boulders? So does Dingus even stand a chance with this level? Well, just a few rounds in, we get a not too bad attempt. He's a bit reserved with his movement, but Dingus actually gets a fair way along the level this run. This gives me some hope that he can conquer this one after all.
And with a bit more training, we then get this run, where... Actually, I'll just show you what happens. I just want to point out before anyone gets the wrong idea, Dingus gets no points extra for flying through the air towards the shelf. The reward function requires both Dingus and the crate to be over ground to earn rewards, which should hopefully discourage this tactic. Although he literally does try it again in literally the next attempt. Oh, and this one's great. I'm not even sure how he managed to get the crate to fall back this way. Then he knocks it further away in his attempt to retrieve it, making it absolutely impossible to get back. The sheer desperation present in his attempts to get it back are wonderful, though. Ten minutes later, Dingus gets on a good run. Oh, he's just going downhill now, and... Ah, oh, still, that's super close. A bit more training, and we wind up with this at the end. Ooh, Dingus, Dingus, okay. Now you just gotta turn around and grab it. Dingus, Dingus, please. Yes, you can do this. No, Dingus, no, <laughs> no. Oh, that was so close. It's been a long journey, Dingus. And here, past the 12,000 second mark, we get this. Hey, thanks so much for watching. You have a wonderful time. I'm off to play Dragon's Dogma. Behold, it's the amazing Bendy Dog. Look at it. No bones at all. Folds over anything. Get your Bendy Dog now.